Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today I will be guiding you through a yin yoga sequence for those days when you are feeling lazy. So you might be wanting to practice but maybe not necessarily wanting to do anything deep or anything too long in length. So today's practice is going to be nice, soothing, relaxing. Uh, you're going to get a nice stretch through the hamstrings, a little bit through the hips, the upper body and front body. So if you're doing a lot of sitting throughout your day, this is going to be a really nice practice for you. For today's practice, you are going to need a bolster and one block. If you do not have a bolster, you can always just use a block. It will also work that way as well. So we will go ahead and get started. Our first posture will be a dangling to squat series. So go ahead and grab your bolster. You're going to bring your bolster in front of you and just have your block handy behind you. I know for myself when I come down into squat, especially at the beginning of a practice, my my heels sort of lift up off the ground and I need a little bit of support. So I rest my bum on the block. So making our way into dangling, bringing your feet a little bit wider than hips width distance, generous bend in the knees, taking a nice big inhale here. And on the exhale, I'm going to turn my bolster sideways bring my forearms to the bolster and letting my head rest just playing with the distribution of weight in the feet here noticing if you're leaning into your heels you're pressing forward into your toes trying to find an equal distribution in the big toe the baby toe and the heel Allow the head to drop, let the head be heavy. Take a few more breaths here before we transition into our squat. So we're going to be making our way into that squat position. You can gently bend your knees from side to side as you turn your toes on more of a diagonal and gently make your way down into that squat. I'm going to bring the block right underneath, right underneath my bum on its second highest height. I bring my hands to prayer.
just going to remove the black. Just a few more breaths here before we transition back into our dangling position. Go ahead and make our way back to that dangling position. Press your hands down on the mat or the bolster and very gently lift your hips up, draping the belly back over the thighs and allowing the head to drop once again. Just noticing how that feels in the hips. Maybe bring your forearms onto the bolster and let the head drop, if that feels good. Really feel on every inhale the belly pushing into the thighs, so it's nothing forced. Just something to notice. And let the head be heavy. You can nod your head yes. No. Still feeling that traction in the neck. The skull alone is about 15 pounds or so. We really want to relax the neck. And the shoulders, the jaw, the tongue. Just a few more breaths here before we transition back to our squat. Go ahead and very gently make our way back down to that squatting position. Shimming from side to side, eventually making your way back down into that squat position. If you need the block, you can place the block underneath your hips again, taking your elbows and opening up the knees.
blocks. The last few breaths here. Let's take our last two breaths of this series. A nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Only opening the eyes, just move the props, the blocks, if you had it in front of you. Bring your hands behind you and just come to sit on your bum. Just moving nice and slow. Bring the knees out in front of you. You can wrap your arms around your knees, close them, and just gently rock from side to side. All the way back up. So from here, I'll demonstrate it this way. You're just going to come to lay all the way down onto your back. And for this one, you can use the block or the bolster. So if you have the bolster, you're just going to bring it right underneath your sit bones. So after you've placed the block underneath your sacrum, that flat piece of bone. And again, you can do this with the block. The prop is here, the bolster is here to help tip your hip points forward so that it is less of an effort on your part. So we will be taking shoelace. So you're going to want to cross your right knee over the left. From here, draw your knees in towards your chest. And if you notice, I could stay here and it feels very effortless. I'm still feeling a nice stretch in my left glute. I could stay here or I can grab onto my ankles and drawing down to increase that stretch. The option is always there to weave your left arm underneath and wrap your hands around that 
left knee, if that feels better. Coming into our last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale, fill up. And side out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently release your hands from your feet. Uncross the knee and just stay here for a moment. You rock from side to side. And we will repeat that on the other side. So bring the sole of the right foot to the mat, cross the left knee over the right this time. Draw both knees back in towards your chest. Feel a nice stretch in the left glute this time. And you have the option, you can grab onto your feet or weave the right hand underneath and interlace your fingers around that right kneecap. The first two poses we did were fairly open uh, for the hamstrings and the groin, and this is a nice, a nice way to feel a little bit more comforted, closed in. A little bit of compression there on the belly.
Coming into our last few breaths here. Last two breaths, nice big inhale, and sigh it out, one more inhale, and exhale, gently release the grip on the feet, uncross the knees, and just take a moment. You can rock from side to side. So from here, we will be stretching the front line of the body. So extending your legs as wide as the mat. And go ahead and reach your arms up above. Play with pointing and flexing your toes. Maybe shimmying your hips from side to side. Coming into our last few breaths here, making these your deepest breaths. Let's take our last two breaths, a nice big inhale. Reach, 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 reach. Point your toes, reach with your fingertips. And on the exhale, just allow everything to drop. One more inhale, reach. And 
and exhale. You gently bend the knees, push into your feet, pick up your hips, slide the bolster out from underneath you or the block, and set your hips back down. Just take a moment here. You can bring your feet as wide as your mat and let your knees knock in. Very gently from here, just a windshield wiper of the knees from side to side. Knees and towards the chest. Make some small circles on the ceiling in one direction and in the other direction. So, for our final pose, we will be coming up to a seat, but I promise you it will be well worth it. Coming up to a seat, grab your bolster. Or your pillow will be taking twisted deer over the bolster. So you want to bring your left hip right up to the bolster. You can glue your left foot into the thigh of your right knee. Twist yourself over the bolster. Take a nice big inhale and on the exhale you're looking to lengthen and drop your belly and your chest over the bolster you can even bring your hands underneath it and bring your right cheek to the mat. Last few breaths on this side. Take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale, fill up. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And 
exhale. Very gently push into your palms, coming all the way back up. Just scooch the bolster forward a little bit and we will just come to the other side. So this time setting your right hip up, right up against that bolster. Gluing your right foot into the top of the left thigh, left close to the left knee. Twist the body over. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, walk yourself forward, draping the belly, trying to get the belly on the bolster and the chest. You can bring your forearms to the mat and bring your left cheek to the bolster. So I really love this pose because I feel a nice stretch. Not only my glutes, but my lower back gets a nice stretch. Last few breaths here, making these your deepest breaths. Take our last two breaths. Nice big inhale, fill up. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently push your way all the way back up. Go ahead and bring your bolster on a diagonal so that it is the lengthways on your mat. You're going to drape your chest over the bolster and bring the arms up overhead for your Shavasana. If too much, 
and always place the block underneath your head. You can always interlace your hands underneath your head as well. I find that feels good. feeling free to stay here for as long as you'd like. I hope you enjoyed today's lazy and practice and I will see you back here again soon. Have a wonderful day.